Moving on to our next topic how do you create your first project in UiPath Studio and once the project is created what is the location of the project both the things we are going to see now let's get started once you are in the UiPath Studio click on the start and then click on the process to start a new project in the UiPath Studio so hit on the process this is going to bring you a prompt like this here you should give it a name let me give it a name let's say my first project and I'm going to leave everything as it is in the language that we are going to use is VV and in the description you can definitely uh, put a description if not you can leave it as it is and the location you can see the location is going to store in Rakesh user documents and UiPath folder this can be modified in case you would like to store in a different location but again I would recommend you to leave it as it is okay and then I am going to hit on create now the moment I create a process this is going to take a bit of time so wait for it once the project is loaded I am going to talk about the rest of the topic so now the project has loaded and this is how the window would appear and here you would find open main workflow you need to click on open main workflow and wait and here you can see my activities and I have dragged and dropped it towards my left side but again generally all these things would be at the bottom so you can also if you like to keep it on the left side depending to your convenience you can move it and arrange it, arrange it accordingly as you like so this is how it will be completely blank and this is how it's going to appear now the very first thing what we are going to do let's print something now to print uh, anything on UAPA studio the activity that is there like any programming language you have the print command right similar way for UAPA studio you don't really write a command rather you use an activity so I'll simply type message and you find an activity called message box or you can also type message box okay so this is the activity that you need to drag and drop okay like this you drag and drop you will have different activities let's say let me print something okay okay so in the first one all I have to do in the double quotes let me increase the font okay now here let me type something let's say I'm going to type hello world okay this is my first message box where I'm going to print hello world and let me say subscribe to my channel okay I hope you have already done that so these are the two message boxes that I have added and what I am going to do I am going to save the project okay so I have created save the project now hit on the debug button what would happen the activities that we have dragged and dropped right this is going to run and you can see my entire UAPA studio is in modern design format okay I am using the modern design so what is modern design if you do not know you must watch my previous video in case you have missed it okay so from the first message box you see the hello world has been printed on my screen okay if I click on ok then it's going to move from the first activity to the second activity like in programming it goes from the first line to the second line to the third line same way here the activities will run in a sequence manner so the second one has appeared subscribe to my channel and it has printed in a message box saying subscribe to my channel now once this is created I hope you have already saved it so once you save this project right where exactly this project is there let's have a look let me go to um, this PC and here let's say C drive and then you should go to your documents or else you on the left hand side you have the documents hit on the documents and here you would find a folder called UI path okay click on that the name that we have given which is my first project is over here if you open this there are a couple of uh, you know UI path studio files which you should not delete you should leave it as it is now this is the main dot XML file if you see this is a XAML file so this main dot XML is important this is the file where whatever you have written will be stored for example if I close this I'm closing the studio and let's say if I'm going to see the project all you have to do double click on the project and wait for it to load so let me double click 
so finally the project has loaded on my screen and this is how the main.xml file which contains your project now to see that you can also navigate to a tab called projects tab it could be at the bottom for you click on the projects tab and here also you find there is a file called main.xml and also there is a file called project.json you can also open this files let me see the project.json so this is a json file javascript object notation file this generally contains settings of ui path try to open this using your notepad and now you can see the project name is available the description we have not typed anything so it is saying blank process your main where your project should start from main.xml okay xml file and the dependencies of the project like you need x we are using excel activities right so uh, we are using activities so one of the activity we used is the message box which is part of if you highlight this activity it tells you if you read the gray box that is appearing which says included in uipath.system.activities so it is telling you where these activities are coming from so this activity is coming from this particular package okay from here that activity is deriving likewise there are multiple different settings of the project uh, that is listed over here and it is mandatory for you not to do anything with this or not to delete it you should not delete this file these are very important your entire uh, whatever you are trying to create over here and try to save it the file which gets saved is the main.xml okay likewise we can create more xml files that we are going to learn in the later chapter but at the moment you need to understand this is where all these files are available and project.json file is nothing but which remembers the project settings uh, for your workflow that you are creating uh, in uipath studio and the main.xml is the file which get auto generated the moment i drag you know the moment i create a project the moment i created a project by hitting on home uh, hitting on start and process the exact at that time the main.xml gets created so that's about the agenda of the video we are going to continue to the next content